Inside the Golden State Warriors practice facility, the NBA champs are being stuffed with wearable technology. Small rectangular patches are visible on the backs of players as they run drills and shoot baskets. It's catapult technologies. It's essentially a GPS tracker is the easiest way to describe it, but it gets a lot of information off of players' bodies for us, including their heart rate and some other things that we want to monitor over the course of the season. I try to embrace it. There's so much tech, especially here in the Bay Area, but so much tech that can help you in your performance that we I mean, kind of always want to you know, look at it. I like to take everything with a grain of salt. You don't want to say this is the end-all, be-all, but if you get enough things to kind of work together, uh, you can get better. It gives us a baseline, a baseline reading for which we later use that data to make sure that players are on the, the right side of healthy. Um, and if they start to trend the wrong direction, it gives us an idea of what's going on. We can look further into it and maybe shut the guy down for a little bit or look in more carefully to see what exactly is happening so we don't have any catastrophic injuries. Those machines and devices that we use when we come into the gym today just kind of see where your nervous system's at, how you slept for the night, that type of stuff. So everything kind of plays a part, but there, obviously there's no substitute that you're going out there and just playing. Last year, 11 NBA teams wore similar devices during their practices, and this year, eight more teams started. The Warriors aren't alone in embracing tech to improve performance. So, does the NBA have a wearables arms race? You know, I, I don't think it's necessarily who has technology first. It's what you do with the technology, um, because eventually everyone will have it. And, and the truth is, with a lot of this stuff, you don't want to be the only one to have it, uh, because it won't necessarily get to the point of, of great usefulness if not every team and every player is using it. We, we really work on the communication of our technologies and our data. We have a great training staff um, who are experts in their field, and Lachlan Penfold sits on top of that. He has a lot of, a lot of experience dealing with these sort of technologies and, and how to take the data that we receive and, and make it something useful and meaningful to what we do every day.